Good evening, it's Ray Quintel calling back to the American people again. Asking you to do that most amazing thing you're ever going to do in your life. Come this November, you're going to vote for a man who basically came from out of left field on these guys. Someone they never even seen coming. Someone they considered to be sheep. Yes, our politicians treat us like sheep. But guess what? No sheep, no more. That is my slogan for my campaign. Because that's the way it's going to be. I don't want you to be a sheep, and I don't want to be a sheep. So our voices are going to raise up this election this November. And we're going to send a message to the world that a common person who has the extraordinary will not to give up. And that's one of the things the American people do. We just do not give up. I think it's embedded with us. I think the fact is that I'm a New Yorker, and New Yorkers don't give up, and I'm an American. And Americans, we just don't give up. So I think I'm twice that. The willpower I have Taking that to the White House and then letting the American people know we can do this. I've been following a few of our mayors and few of our success stories across the United States. I've got a game plan for taking things from these people and I will give them kudos when it's laid out because I'm going to want them to be part of it too. I'm not going into this thing blindly. I have a I have a really bold move for us. And this country has just not seen it before. Unification. Yes, you've heard this word before. But you've never seen it on this grand of a scheme. Or, better yet, laid out to work. I'm asking the American people to trust me. Even though you have only met me maybe... For a few seconds or maybe in, in even a few minutes but we're looking at what you've seen for almost four years as our president and we've known him for quite a long time because he is a celebrity a businessman etc 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 same thing goes for mr. Biden former vice president Biden We've seen what he done, or what he is willing to try to do. And the fact is, I really can't say much. Other than the fact he's ridden coattails pretty much his whole political career. Bernie, you too. It could have been an amazing success story. Try too many times. I appreciate all you do. I really do. And I do think that some of the stuff you have works. But I don't think it's all going to work. Hence the reason why I'm running. I'm running because none of them fit what needs to be done. None of these men can fill the need for our country. Our country is demanding somebody to step up. Not somebody's going to sit there and blame the previous administration. Not somebody who's going to stand there and point fingers. Not somebody who's going to stand up and say, I didn't say that right after they literally just said it three hours earlier. Better yet, I'm not going to be the kind of person or looking to be the kind of person who is going to socially antagonize everyone. I heard a young lady tonight on a video for a committee hearing 
Riley. I'm interested in speaking to you. You made some bold statements, young lady. I'd be willing to do some kind of video conference call or even a conversation through Instagram or other. I'm running for President of the United States. And young lady, I'd like to have you as part of my team. I'm offering you a job. I'm also looking for sponsorship, endorsers that are understanding that if they back me, they are backing the United States of America, the people of the United States of America, and there is no way you're going to make it sound like I owe you. You are going to make sure when you stand beside me and you endorse me that you're endorsing them. Because I don't want you backing out and saying, well, he owes us. Because I do not. You are repaying the American people, which are going to re-put the money back in your pocket the second they find out you backed and supported me. It's a win-win situation for whoever endorses me. Trust me. You endorse me, it's the right move. President Trump, you rolled out today some initiatives about business about getting back to work and structuring as such it seems to be a interesting group of companies and CEOs IBM really I live in Poughkeepsie New York IBM you remember that place remember how fast you pulled out of there and how many jobs we lost how the Poughkeepsie people are still suffering to this day. Could have tried something different. You could have done something different. Big Blue, as you guys are called. Not so big anymore. What kind of deal did you do with Donald? I'm just curious. American people should start asking the same questions. What kind of deals are these men making? Who's lining their pockets? Who's going to persuade them once they're in office to do things to the American people? It's time. Time is now to say enough. We are no sheep, no more. I'm serious, Riley. I'm interested in talking to you. Mayor Tubbs, out there in California, Stockton. Bravo, sir. Major kudos to you. I'm very interested in how you did it. I sent you off an email. Interested in hearing back from you. Please, I'd like to either sit down and talk to you or do a phone call or whatever way we um, can get this conversation rolling it will help because I believe that some of the things you did and how you rolled it out is exactly the way I would like to take and roll it out for the rest of the country I'm pretty much on the same ID I'm sorry ideology of what's going on here if we put communities back to service, the community will grow. If you stagnate the community, it will falter and fail. If community cannot relay messages back to those who are leading them, it fails. This is what's going on in society right now. Lack of communication, lack of trust, and lack of understanding. These are all happening today in our society. It's all because there's a social breakdown. Our country is failing. So how do we fix it? I'm going to lay it out over, over the whole weekend. I'm going to post up videos of how we're going to fix this, how we're going to get this rolling out. And I'm looking forward to debating these men and showing you I can do this. 
Have a blessed night. Thank you very much. Take great care. And God bless America.